What's up guys? Samsung changed the Galaxy S moniker this year. So we have no way of telling what comes after the Galaxy S20. Samsung could go for the Galaxy S21 to coincide with the year or it could jump the Galaxy S30 replicating the naming scheme used by the Huawei on its flagship handsets. No real leaker, I still universe think the Galaxy S20 successor will be called the Galaxy S21 and he already has first detail about the handset. As you can see in his tweet, as you never said, Sensing is considering using the unscreen camera technology on the Galaxy S21 first and is evaluating the feasibility of the technology. Samsung is considering using under display camera technology for the Galaxy S21, the leaker said, and is evaluating the technology. Placing the camera under the screen will let Samsung eliminate the only thing that's running the display of the Galaxy S20, the whole punch camera. Samsung is certainly not the first to toy with the technology. Last year, we saw prototypes from other smartphone vendors featuring the novel selfie camera technology as you can see this Oppo's image. But the technology is still not there yet or those handset makers would have launched such devices. The part of the screen that's covering the selfie camera has to be transparent when taking photos. The rest of the time, it has to behave like a regular display. Samsung Display makes some of the best OLED display in the industry. These screens are found inside the latest Galaxy S and the Note phones, but also all the iPhones with OLED screens, the latest Pixel phones, and even the recently launched Huawei P40 Pro. Samsung Display must have been testing under screen camera technology for years. But if Samsung is already considering it for a Galaxy S21, then it means Samsung made plenty of progress. A recent patent revealed by a Samsung screen design revealed a Samsung screen design that would fit very well with in-screen camera technology. On the other hand, this is just a rumor. The leaker has been right before about Samsung's plans but not all of his claims panned out. It's still very early to know anything for sure and Samsung has plenty of time to decide the final design for the Galaxy S21. We won't know for sure until late 2020 when more details and the rumors will pop up. Until then, the two flagships including the Galaxy Note 20 and the Galaxy Fold 2. We expect both phones to feature whole point displays. So yeah, that's it for today guys. Now what's your thoughts on this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And yes, smash the subscribe button and press the bell icon for more latest news. And as always, I will catch you tomorrow in the next one. Peace out.